early British views on the oneness of God and Jesus' name baptism. According to Doctor of Divinity Martin Arnold somewhere from AD 37 to 42 a missionary took Acts chapter 2 verse 38 to Glastonbury, England. Then Celtic Apostolic Christianity started. E.T. Thompson page 108. Professor Deansley and Professor Emeritus of the University of London advocate that Britain most probably received the Gospel of Jesus Christ during the reign of Tiberius from 14 to 37 AD, but for certain by the time of Tertullian, 155 to 240 AD. The Pre-Conquest Church in England, page 4. Frederick C. Conabir, an Oxford scholar relates that Celts engaged in the practice of baptizing in the name of Jesus only, and not into the titles Father, Son and Holy Spirit, thereby becoming a thorn in the side of the later developed Catholic Church. Also he notes that monotheism was characteristic of the British Isles, and Christological, Jesus was God, beliefs lingered for centuries. The survival of animal sacrifices inside the Christian Church, page 88. Late British scholar Dr. Hans Kosmala made a similar observation to that of Conabir. He said that the New Testament knows of only two kinds of water baptisms the baptism of John the Baptist, and the baptism in the name of Jesus which replaced the former, and that no trace of a Trinity baptism formula can be discovered in the New Testament. Studies, Essays and Reviews Volume 2 New Testament, pages 2 and 133. British scholar and professor of divinity Ernest Best acknowledges that the formula in use at the time was probably not Trinitarian. But using the name of Jesus Christ's name, Acts chapter 2 verse 38, 8, 16, 10, 48, 19 to 5, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 13 to 15, and Galatians chapter 3 verse 27. A.D. 96 to 100, Apostle John died. He carried on for Paul. The world was evangelized with the Acts chapter 2 verse 38, Doctrine. Armenia, Malabar, Saxony, Glastonbury, Longdoc, Frisia, etc. Reached. A. Neander, page 49. A preserved finding of an ancient British Pict monument reflects the New Testament practice of baptism in the name of Jesus only. The decorated fragment of the Dark Age monument that's currently at the Museum of Antiquities in Scotland leaves no doubt about the formula used as the Acts chapter 2 verse 38 formula is in the decorated inscription. Dean Richard Burridge and Graham Gould, a lecturer of theology at the University of London both point out that the Trinity is of late 4th century thought, saying that the Old Testament does not support it, saying also that within monotheism there's only one God alone, the Christian concept of the Trinity is either nonsensical or blasphemy. One of the first martyrs in Britain was a former Roman soldier who served under the reign of Diocletian for several years, named Albinus of Hertfordshire, England, who was executed by the authorities because of his belief in one God after becoming a Christian. Some of his final words were these, I worship the only true living God who created all things. He was a preacher of righteousness and would not adhere to demonic worship and practices. A Priscillian bishop of Avila and theologian from Roman Gallia in Europe was condemned to death for his beliefs in monotheism. The Roman Catholics condemned him to death because of his Sabellian beliefs in 386 AD. The Freedom Not to Speak, pages 20 and 21. Finally, one God people were scattered throughout England from AD 540 to 670 according to Bede, in his English History, page 148. Thank you for watching, subscribe and may God bless you.